Hello, many thanks for joining me for another Somerset Real Air Review. Um, as you can catch from the title, I've got another beer from the fabulous Tiny Rebel Brewery based in Newport, South Wales. It's their Foo Bar. Um, I won't tell you what Foo Bar stands for. Um, if you Google it, you'll probably find the explanation on there. Um, once again, this brewery, they're sort of exactly hitting the nail on the head um, with my sort of generation. Come on, let me zoom in, hopefully zoom in in there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, hope, totally hitting the nail on the head with my generation. Everything, I think the brewers of my sort of age, um, well, I did meet them at the um, at the uh, Welsh, uh, Great Welsh Beer and Cider Festival. There's the information there. On the uh, on the bottle there, yeah. But this is 4.4%. Um, um, I think it's sort of like a nice hoppy sort of new world hop, new world type of pale ale, I believe. I've had this on cask and I really loved it, um, as of all all of their beers I've loved. So anyway, it's a 330 ml brown bottle. Once again, 4.4% ABV. Let's crack it open. Nice smoky opening. Plain red crown with the price on it. <clears throat> yeah, I think they've just opened their new, their uh, very own bar, craft beer bar at the brewery, so I'm desperate to get over there and uh, spend the day uh, drinking away in there. I don't know whether this beer's bottle conditioned or not. There's a slight bit of conditioning on the, yeah, it is bottle conditioned, very, very small amount in there. I don't mind the conditioning of the beer. Um, if you give it a sort of gentle pour, you tend to leave it out of the beer, but like I say, it doesn't really bother me. <clears throat> well, that is nice and pale in colour, slightly hazy. Um, I haven't been careful with it, like I say, but I don't mind a pure, unpasteurised, fil unfiltered beer. Loads and loads of carbonation in there. Masses of it. Um, this is a lager glass, so it's probably helping the carbonation, the size of the, the um, shape of the glass. It is pale in colour. Almost getting on for straw. Slightly darker than you can see on the camera there. <clears throat> lovely two finger, almost bleach white, lovely foamy head on the on the beer there. Smashing, I'm gonna get the nose in. Oh god, that's amazing. Absolutely it it's it's perfect. To me, that massively, massively reminds me of the Moors, Moors Brewery, Summerlin Gold, which is an immense beer. It's got that lovely sort of, um, it's not so much piney, there's a very slight bit of pine in there, but you've got that real zesty grapefruit bursting out. I mean, through the, even through that head, it's a real, real pungent grapefruit. Slight bit of, well, I think it's my hand actually. Just making sandwiches, I can see, <laughs> get sweetness, but it's. <laughs> yeah, sweet, pungent, beautiful grapefruit. I can't get a lot else through that head actually. I'll come back to the nose in a minute, but it smells absolutely gorgeous. Um, like I say, it smells like a classic New World um, pale ale. Um, or golden ale even. I'm going to dig into this. Cheers everyone. Oh, and it doesn't disappoint. It's just that lovely, oh it's sweet, it's a lovely sweetness to it. It starts off pretty bitter and you get a nice sweetness in the middle. And it finishes with a very mild bitter aftertaste. This is an incredibly sessionable beer. I think it's one of the all-time, one of my all-time favourite sessionable beers, or would be if I could get it. Um, obviously, I got this beer from Corks of Cotham, which is in Bristol, and I have to travel to get there. Um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful, uh, punchy pale ale. It's got it's a real zesty grapefruit bitterness to it. But you're also getting a swat, slight, a nice fruity sweet taste alongside it. But it's very well balanced. I 
at 4.4 percent that is a perfect session now um if my local pub only ever sold that beer i, I would i would be more more than happy um <clears throat> head retention has retained its head all the way down I'm trying to get a few more aromas It's got a slight gra grassiness to it as well. Oh, I mean, that's fantastic. I mean, look at the lacing left on the side of the glass as well. It just, it's just, this, this is a must check out brewery. Tiny Rebel Brewing, brewery in Newport, South Wales. You must check them out. It's, I mean, there are stronger flavored beers <coughs> Pardon me, um, but this is this is it, it is a, a perfect session now. I mean, you, you, if you wanted a stronger flavour beer, I mean, you've got there um, the Hadouken, uh, many of their other beers that are stronger, or, or you know, other, compared to other breweries. Um, I mean, you're looking at a higher ABV sort of beer like Magic Rocks, Human Cannonball, something like that. It, 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 you know, you, when you get into your American breweries, I won't even bother trying to name a lot of them, but. Um, you're going to get stronger, more flavoursome beers, but this is such a perfect session beer at 4.4%. It's all you want. You don't want massive flavours in a session beer, I do, I find, because you've just blown your taste buds away for the rest of the evening. That is a brilliant beer. Um, a unique schizophrenic beer where you'll face off against floral hoppy flavours up front, leading to a dry, spicy bitterness on the back. Need something a bit different to wake up your taste buds? It's time to have a foo bar. Brilliant. Love their artwork again. www.tinyrebel.co.uk. Great brewery. Make sure you check them out. This is a great beer. I'm going to give that for a session beer. That's got to get a nine out of ten. I think it's. I think it's immense. Like I say, you will get stronger flavoured beers, but not at that ABV. I mean, that's just perfect as far as I'm concerned. Thanks for watching, love to see your comments in the comments box and hopefully join me in soon on another review. Cheers.